Hi, we're here today with Brian Strini from Machine Solutions, President and CEO. Um, we're here in Flagstaff, Arizona. We're going to talk a little bit today about the process of balloon pleating and folding. Um, one, of the, one of the most common re requests we get at Pobo Medical right now is once we've designed a balloon and the customers have laid out their specs and understand key items like rated burst pressure and double wall thickness, every single customer asks me, what are the next steps to pleating and folding a balloon? And, and clearly, Machine Solutions has developed world-class technology for pleating and folding, and um, certainly want to want to see how we can dig in a little bit and understand some of the key parameters that you guys use when you're you're attacking a balloon um, and designing equipment to help really minimize profile, which is what a lot of people want. Right. So. You no, know, definitely. Um, you know, that's one of the key product lines within Machine Solutions is our, our form fold set or pleat and fold equipment. Um, been making that stuff for 20 plus years now and um, have seen just about every shape, size, and material of balloons. So um, definitely uh, have a, a well-rounded catalog in, in approaching that goal of minimizing that, uh, that OD. Let's go back a little bit because I think, uh, you know, a 20-year track record now with a, with a process that is clearly, uh, and, and we won't even over-exaggerate this, but it's, it's revolutionized the way customers and industry pleats and folds balloons. I mean, you, you can't walk on a clean room anywhere in the world that has balloons and not find an MSI pleating and folding machine. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. They've, they've revolutionized the way people have, have moved from, from hand folding, in some cases, to the current processes. So, so just a little bit about how the process has evolved and where it's, where it's come from, from, say, the, the fluting equipment that really dominated the industry when Machine Solutions came about. Um, to where it is today, and some of the some of the iterations that you guys have gone through with drug eluding balloons, shapes, materials, etc. Sure. Yeah. You know, the technology really was born in a need to uniformly radial compress uh, a stent or a tube or something of that nature. And so, as uh, the company evolved from you know, focusing on on crimping stents, um, there was obviously that need to pleat and fold that balloon underneath the stent. So the technology adapted from crimping into a, a pleating type of uh, mechanism. Um, so as you look at the industry standard 20 years ago, you know, hand folding or fluting was, was very prevalent, but it didn't necessarily give you the desired results of that minimal profile or the repeatable process that, that we, can, uh, we can achieve nowadays. So um, the fluting process worked well, but it was kind of the one size fits all, which doesn't really fit all. So you end up with um, giving up profile or giving up certain characteristics in that type of equipment. So Machine Solutions' focus was designing that pleat head specific to the, the dimensions of your balloon so that we could ensure we're getting the best profile, um, a repeatable process, and a uniform deployment of, uh, of the balloon. Another topic that always comes up, and, uh, and I know we've, 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 we've talked about this and struggled with it, but you know, we get we get the customer's material lined up at Pobo. We understand what they're trying to accomplish with respect to, let's say, compliance and rated burst pressures, and then they want to know about rewrap and sure. how can we how can we guarantee or ensure that once we've pleated and folded to this custom geometry, are there ways that machine solutions can design equipment or even process technologies that allow them to have materials that once they've deployed a stent or performed a procedure, um, that the balloon wants to return to some shape. Right. Yeah, definitely that, that memory that you try to impart in that pleated balloon. Um, so we're using thermal uh, energy to, to try to heat set it. And you know, in a lot of cases, that, that provides that, that refold or that rewrap as you're pulling vacuum after dilation. Um, but in some cases, it's just it's difficult to achieve. If you're going to a, a high pressure, to where you're stressing that, that balloon material and you're essentially pulling that re or that uh, heat set characteristics out of it, um, it can be difficult to, uh, to achieve that, that refold across all types of balloons or, or processes. But um, you know the design of the, the pleat takeoff angle, the thermal um, energy that we're able to apply, those are key characteristics in, in achieving as best of a rewrap as you as you can. 